just make sure you've picked the correct. There we go. There now I can see you. Yeah. Hell yeah. That's what we're talking about. Now let me just get we're, this up here. We're streaming and hey, YouTube.com Wait. forward slash C forward slash Hey, it's Vadim. There we go. That's me. That's you. So I'm just really grieving right now. I mean, we had our ass handed to oh, us totally. by by lecture fan. I don't know how I'm going to get over it. Yeah, um, me neither. But you know, um, yeah, I don't know. Maybe just get maybe church. Maybe, yeah, maybe, maybe that'll, that'll do the trick. That could do um, it. That could do it. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's it's it's. Hey, it's good to talk one on one with you. Yeah, and I want to say, I want to say real quickly. Um, you know, this is just for for fun and everything. I'd love because I did talk to you about which is, is the the video is going to drop somewhat soon. Working on this this epic video. It's actually going to be two videos, but one's going to be short. One's going to be really long on Tim Pool. So I'd love to come and and chat with you again when that video is up. Absolutely, just, please let me know. Just communicate with me, and yeah. we will absolutely get it set up. Uh, cool. Yes, Marinara, cool. there is an apostrophe in the URL, I believe. Um, actually, wait a minute. I know there is in the channel name, but I don't know if there actually is on the channel. Let me double check real quick. Let me check on that for you. Do you know you, on your which, channel, which, is there a... My, my channel, uh, you, you, if you look up Hey, It's Vadim, you can find it, but the URL itself is still Creationist Oh, Cat it's still Creationist I, I, Okay. I, I can't change it. You That's know? fine. That's um, fine. Yeah. I'll get that. I'll get that corrected right now in here. Thank you for calling that out, Marinara. Really appreciate that. There we go. There yeah, we go. That's pretty awesome. That's Do you fixed. mind terribly if I um come back in about two minutes with some coffee? Oh yeah, go for it. Yeah, no problem. Yeah. I'll Beautiful. be waiting right All here. Alright. Sounds good. Then, uh, don't worry about it. Maybe we'll do something. Five point one two subs? Five point one two K? Oh. Amazing. We just crossed our huge uh we've been chugging towards the 5k so we just hit 5k and food. it's very exciting congratulations for our yeah despite is... getting the the stupid ban last week that happened and we got unbanned finally it hurt us we got pushed behind i was a little bummed because we weren't gonna make it but now we did so hell yeah very very happy that is um that's that's awesome growth congratulations mm. sorry i'm chewing rice oh no that's totally speak. fine it's one of those uh it's one of those one of those days the stream you know those those panel streams go really long so yeah yeah um there i i felt i i didn't i didn't feel bad for because guess he's such a shithead i didn't feel bad for lecture fan I felt a little bad for for, for for counterpoints even uh, eh, eh, eh. He's, he's he's not you know like uh, he actually did help me out a little bit with um my upcoming tim pool video because there were some there's some uh, points that, you know, he has uh, a foundation in law enforcement. So there were some questions that really I could only ask a police officer relating to the video. And um, we get along outside of those those panels, to tell you the truth, which uh, I, I didn't really think would be the case in maybe like the first time that I ever streamed with him. But um, yeah, um, mm -hmm. I mean... You know, he, I, I just when, think when he has a bit when, of a high temper, but I, you know, I, I get it. He does. He yeah. absolutely does. He absolutely does. And um, I, I mean, the 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 thing is, is like I, I don't think that it's it's warranted yet. I do sort of feel like um, when when I'm in those panels, that due to sometimes the underrepresentation of the um, the right on on those panels that which sometimes occurs it, it i can see how it would be frustrating for him especially when i mean I, I maybe you wouldn't agree i think he's more reasonable than most of sometimes uh, yeah. the, 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 most the, of the time yeah. The, yeah. yeah yeah far more reasonable as a matter of fact i would say than the majority of the <laughs> right-wing people who i've um maybe there's one other person who uh, like falls into that category that I think is capable of being as as thoughtful as he sometimes is. Um, so so yeah, I I get a little bit the frustration when it, there's just all the because I was part of a um, I don't know I mean this isn't the only reason why I think I understand it, but several years ago 
or not several, but like around 2018, I was a part of this live uh, debate. <laughs> and it was so weird. It, it's for was MythCon. The, I, I oh, yeah. Was that MythCon? Yeah. I think I've seen that one. Yeah. Yeah. It was, it was, it was one of the first times I had ever engaged in debate. Mm -hmm. And, and I was, uh, like, like I did not. I, I was assured by them that they, they they were like, oh, everybody's like left wing on that panel. Don't 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 worry. Um, it turned out that like, and, and and I felt like I handled it as capably as I could have with the kind of debate skills that I had at the time. Mm -hmm. But basically, it was everyone against me. Even the fucking moderator was. I mean, this this thing MythCon. It's like just an anti SJW wank yeah, fest. Is. Yeah, it is. you know. Yeah. And and I went. I, I'm actually glad that I did go for a reason that I'll say in a second. But basically, it wasn't just all those people against me, uh, making very ridiculous claims. Claims that I I think some of the people on the panel actually like. For instance, Armored Skeptic. Um, I'm not saying that he's like done like a huge paradigm shift, but um, he's a little more to the left than he once was, or at yeah. least he says he is. Um, and my, my point is, is that like, it, that was like, like I was in that situation there where everyone was directing their shit at me. And not only that, the fucking audience, I, I was, it, it was like being the bad guy in a wrestling match. Like people were like, fuck you yeah, like, yeah, in yeah. the audience. <laughs> and um, the thing is with, I, with yeah. like, the thing what? is with, with counterpoints, like, uh, I, I get where he's coming from uh, in the frustration of being, like, one of the only right people. But at the same time, like, it's the bedfellows, right? The right-wingers literally burn every single bridge that they that they have on this on Twitch. They literally can't yeah. follow basic rules. And, yes, I will admit that he is one who can follow the rules. And that is nice. That makes it possible to talk to him. Um, still a bit of a hothead. I mean, but thankfully, you know, we've had, we've had a lot of spicy disagreements. We had one particularly spicy one, uh, a couple of weeks ago where he made like a call out vid on me that was, and I responded to it really harshly, which I believe was very deserved. And then we kind of like had some other talks and, and I, again, I don't hold like spats and fights particularly, um, this like like i don't hold that like a, like a grudge you know i really don't like i just don't fucking care most of the time um and uh but but the thing is it's just like you're gonna end up like i've been on a million panels where it's like me versus like 10 other people like 10 libs and we're arguing about something like i mean i literally have one up on my channel it's like 6v1 libs versus leftist and it was like a wild ride and there were six people all all against me and it was set up that way and it was just like wild um but Again, sometimes it's just like, yeah, when you're going to call yourself a righty and you're going to defend a lot of righty positions, you're going to find yourself a bun uh, next to a bunch of people who don't know how to play on a team. People who don't know how to fucking f have basic respect for other human beings. That's just a fact, right? And people don't like that, but it's just a truth. Yeah. Yeah, I, yeah. I hear you. I, I want to just in, uh, say one thing very quickly because I, I maybe it's my own... Um not insecurity, but just, I, I just want to kind of qualify something because often when I um, am talking about the, uh, th that MythCon panel that I was a part of, a lot of people are like, well, why the, why the fuck did you do that? Like, why did you step into that, in, into that um, arena? And I'm, I want to say that I'm glad that I did mm. because the, uh, because first of all, I, there, there were several other uh lefties to left oriented people who did show up that year the year before that there was this conversation between a man named thomas smith who has a popular a few popular podcasts maybe you haven't heard of him mm. um i don't think so kind of, uh, he's, he's sort of like a i mean i think he's uh in the progressive like uh, i'm not exactly where he falls in the political spectrum mm. but basically he had a discussion with with um Sargon, and this is at the kind of the height of Sargon's um, just worship by by uh, the majority of YouTube, or the, at least that, that was the way it was back then. Um, that that was at least my 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 perception of things. Mm -hmm. And and he, even though that I think that that Thomas Smith did capably in that in that discussion, 
everybody was like, woo, he got blown the fuck away. Mm. And and MythCon, which had slowly, it just all of a sudden became, like it, it had been sort of, sort of devolving for a little bit, but it used to be more, I don't want to say extremely left-wing, but at least like just, a little to the left and, and there was a more of a left uh, bent to it yeah and there was more it seemed, uh, it seemed like that more, more more people who actually took in my opinion like facts seriously and mm. had a had a grasp of what basic fucking facts are and and whatnot and so uh anyhow my point is this that as a result chiefly because of that discussion that occurred in 2017 it was a big phenomenon at the time uh, you know just the, the the claim that he this guy this sjw got blown the fuck out he didn't but that's the that's the way most people uh kind of characterized it yeah and um and so uh, they got i think within like a month they got over a hundred and fifteen thousand dollars in donations the year that that we showed up they didn't even break, I think, like seven thousand dollars after two months. So I really do attribute that to the fact that people were going to and watching the 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 second um, or you know the, the the year after, hoping for a repeat of the previous year, and we didn't give that to them. You know, like yeah. every everyone who who spoke you know who were on the various panels who were representing the left and we were underrepresented did a great job yeah. doing so and really handed to get the blood like, they wanted yeah exactly yeah. like, like we, we we handed their their ass to them there was a really uh last thing i'll say about it there's a really um uh satisfying moment where i like i i, I was talking about because one of my points was just that the basic idea of um, facts have a liberal bias. I, yeah. Maybe I'm kind of um, mangling that quote, but uh, they, I, I believe it's attributed to Stephen Colbert or somebody from The Daily Show. And, and I said, this, this is kind of just true at the moment. I mean, the vast majority of science denial, and I don't need to you know, convince you of this, I know. Mm. Um, but, uh, you know, I was basically making that point. And then I said something to the effect of like, you know, it's, it's really weird to me that the, um, that the skeptic community is right now embracing people like Ben Shapiro, Stephen yeah. Crowder. And all of a sudden there is this, 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 uh, this, um, like just a roar of woo to, to both of those names. And and I said, okay, okay, real real quickly, who 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 here is a fan of Ben Shapiro? And and people went woo. And then I said, who, who here is a fan of Stephen Crowder? And it was an even larger like wow. That's ridiculous. And 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 I went, fuck Stephen Crowder. Um, you know, so fuck, fuck Ben Shapiro too. But it was it was very satisfying. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. I mean, so I was glad that uh, it's just yeah. shocking to me that anybody who calls themselves a skeptic ever even considers the title could even consider themselves a fan of steven crowder steven crowder is disgusting and his show is just raw stupidity like well, lying and and oh my god it's so bad well you, you know that's part of my own private hell because um i you know when when i started youtube and mm -hmm. this is something that maybe we can you know when when we talk again i can can go over but um Basically, you know, I, I started my channel years ago. It was an atheist channel. Um, back when it started, the atheism scene wasn't the dumpster fire that I happen to think it is right now. Um, Barely even exists anymore. Yeah, I mean, no, it does exist, but it's just, it's, um, I, I don't know. It, it's just so infiltrated by bullshit and mm. and there certainly i don't think is is like the it seems like you have a, an understanding of because some people don't even know now because of the fact that the terms a skeptic was it's basically flushed down the toilet mm. by all these moronic youtubers who were skeptic nothing close to what is, uh, uh, yeah yeah nothing close to what a genuine what what with the foundation you know people like 
the amazing Randy, um, Carl Sagan, you know, people like that, um, in my opinion, did it right. And um, I like, you know, so I, I entered the community with the hope that, you know, like, like at, at the time, the 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 community was it wasn't super left wing but it was it was predominantly left wing there was it was it was open to you know um social justice and feminism and stuff like that yeah uh and and then just it it, it slowly started getting worse and worse and worse and i, I mean there were just incrementally I, I at every step of the way i was just like it could not get any fucking wor-. and then you know and then sure two enough. months later there's conversations with Richard Spencer, like he's just, hey, we're just having conversations, yeah. you know? You get and people like, like atheism that. is unstoppable and all these weirdos. Oh, oh yeah, atheism yeah. is unstoppable as someone who, I don't know if you know, but like I have uh, a, like I had a longstanding feud with. I was one of the first people yeah. who- when, I think you when mentioned that last pop- time you were on, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was one of the first people um, who really like stood up and was like, this is fucked up. I mean, he, he really like uh, he was he was the first YouTuber who I saw who was just like de- just obviously racist, demonstrably yeah. racist, who was gay. Like, like I had seen people like that on YouTube, but nobody who really was like that attraction obvious. and gaining su- subs and whatnot. And it really opened the door for a lot of shit. Yeah, he did. Not, yeah. Ju- not, not just his existence, but people who were in the community normalizing him yeah as well and um there's uh <laughs> there, there, there there's some people who are have, have kind of changed their tune who did that who um i don't know we we, we won't go down that road because yeah. I, I don't want to call people out yeah but yeah um basically I'm, I'm gonna make a video about it at some point like the the inner to see it. hell that i of uh, yeah of, of of like my journey because there, there was a portion of time where um I was a little reluctant to kind of speak up because I knew that there would be, uh, I'd, I'd lose some of my audience, unfortunately. Sure. And, yeah. and um, I mean, it really sucks to be in that situation. Ultimately, that did happen. Ultimately, I did have a, uh, uh, like finally people, like I, I just called out one too many people that these people loved and, and um yeah, I have you talked to by, out of curiosity. Have you talked to um, Hannah and Jake? Um, I have talked Jake to with, Hannah Reloader? I mean, I mean, I haven't talked with them since. Um, is like I've been back in the day, like uh, Creationist Cat and and the Bible Reloaded. Back what that's what the, that's yeah, what yeah. they used to be called. Yeah, they they did a um, podcast or whatever. Yeah, we did. Uh, they had a series um, where they would read chick tracks uh-huh. and and so i did a couple of those with them and i've been um a little while ago i was on a stream with with uh, a uh, some i i believe it was a um trans related charity that he was ra- raising money for but i haven't spoken with them recently i'd to- totally be down they you know they're they're cool yeah, but, uh, you should. Uh, but, I would highly recommend reaching out to them. Um, they're both super cool. I've done content with them before, and they're pretty big mm-hmm. on uh, Twitch. So um, I'm sure they'd love to do some collab stuff. And uh, like Hannah's content is great. Like Hannah did this really amazing um, uh, stream on the day that uh, James Randi passed away, and uh, oh, that yeah. was amazing. It was an amazing stream. Like a big tribute and a bunch of the best moments and all this stuff. It was really wonderful. So yeah. Yeah, Randy passed away recently. Yep. Yeah, it's a huge, Sorry. huge loss for the real, real skeptics out there. It, I, I kind of think, I mean, there's a few people who just aren't that visible. And I guess maybe you could argue that uh, maybe Bill Nye is a skeptic. You could argue um, that, um, what's his name? Uh, oh, gosh. Uh, the, the black... Uh, astrophysicist um, i think he's an astro yeah i know um, you're talking about uh tyson yeah 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 neil degrasse tyson he, he, unfortunately he has some some baggage i, I Big don't Chungus, know Talk- elon yeah he's yeah, kind of got that reddit tier energy still yeah i don't so it, i don't know if he's a fantastic representative um but he's got some good part, takes yeah 
Yeah, no, no, no. He has some excellent takes for sure. I'm just saying, um, you know, there's, I, I, I just, there are things that have been alleged, and I, yeah, I, yeah. I, I don't know how substantial they, they've been, but if they are true, it's, you know, pretty, yeah. pretty, pretty unfortunate. Yeah. But yeah, there's, there's just not, you know, and 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 again, like most people who kind of would fit in there have the same problem, like uh, N N uh not Neil deGrasse Tyson, um. Lawrence Krauss is a, is another mm -hmm. example. Um, you know, like I'd I'd love for him not to have that shit attached to him. But so so it's just like oh, yeah. I don't know. There, there, there's not that many. There's not that many people out there. There's some YouTubers, some some here and there that I I think are kind of holding down the fort. But no nobody that's extremely well known. And that's that's a when when Armored Skeptic is one of the most pro probably one of the well most well-known modern skeptics that's that's a huge problem yeah i agree um that's in the name though it's in the name that's how you do it right i know i know it's 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 a it's a popular thing it's kind of like the way that 9 11 truthers call themselves truthers, truthers yeah you know yeah. to just just slap that name that. on there some people are gonna buy it just because it's in the name exactly yeah. exactly and uh, I mean, you, you know, if you really look back at, at what he was first doing, he he started out kind of taking down uh, creationists and whatnot, which is yeah. not the hardest thing to do in the world. Right. He, he made some errors in those videos, but then when he moved on to just, I mean, that, that's where we, we used to be friendly. And then he started, you know, going down the whole anti-sjw anti-feminist anti anti anti-feminist rabbit hole and um i don't know i i feel like he both changed somewhat as a person maybe like internet fame changed him which i, I can never do. understand yeah, yeah it can do uh and uh yeah, who knows who yeah. knows i mean maybe i yeah, people tell me he's 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 made a, a step towards being cooler in that regard but i'm skeptical um <laughs> but anyway, um, yeah, I'm not here to trash talk too much, so I won't go go down that uh, that road. I do have a video called, um, which actually has the uh, discussion that I had at at uh, MythCon. I have a video called "How or um, Armored Skeptic Armored Skeptic Arm What was it called? Armored Skeptic flushes skepticism down the toilet." So if anyone wants to <laughs> I think know, I've seen that one, yeah. I've seen quite a oh, few yeah. videos. You, you got some oh, really cool. good videos out there, yeah. I, Thank I, you. Yeah. Thank you. I, I also really liked your collaboration with one of my heroes, Sam Cedar. Um, uh, yeah. Oh, thank right. you. Yeah, oh, Sam is such a great dude. Agreed. Like, uh, like, like I mean, I, I always had a very high opinion of him, but actually, like, talking with him... Um, it's like, you know, I've, I've interviewed and sometimes there are even people that I'm like friendly with that I, that I know beforehand, mm -hmm. but I've, I've interviewed a few people who I guess are kind of on the same level of, of success as, as Sam or, or maybe even higher. And you just expect that these people need to get in and out really quick because, yeah. You know, and that's totally fine. Like, I uh, obviously, like, people have their lives to live and whatnot. But when we we spoke, not only was he just one so down, he had fun and he was so down with the game, but he was just so gracious. And we spoke for like forty five minutes before we shot, and like an hour afterwards. Like, he just, you know, it's it's rare that um, even with really cool people that mm -hmm. like that that uh you know they they really want to get to know you and and just uh, th there is nothing that i mean of course he's the consummate professional right? yeah he's he's a consummate professional but just from my limited time with him i would say that there is close to no difference that i could discern from like the public persona of him and, and how he is mm -hmm. just like chilling one on one with a guy. Yeah. So yeah. which is um which is really good. Because a lot of people, you know, they 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 have two faces. So that is that much is very much true. 
Um, yeah. Well, Vadim, thank you so much for coming on. Uh, let's let's talk again soon. I have a couple of people apparently waiting to debate me about some of my takes oh. today, so I'm gonna go um, trounce those okay, people. I'm um, okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't realize if we had such limited no, time. No, no, I, no, I, no worries. I wouldn't. I wouldn't have. Uh, you know, kind of. I feel like I should have asked you more things, so I could have been more of like good. a one-on-one. You're but, totally fine. Um, Don't you worry about cool. it. Cool. Well, well, we'll have a great night. Have have some fun debates, and um, thanks for just having me on for a quick chat. And we'll do it again, uh, hopefully soon after. Yeah. My, once your video comes my, out, let me know. We'll work something out because cool. I would love to get that video yeah. out to people. Yeah, we have Sounds we've good. had some issues with Tim Pool on this channel, so <laughs> the, I think the you're really don't really like me. I think you're really gonna dig it. I've got some like it, there there's some huge bombs that are gonna yeah, be dropped. That's what I, oh so. maybe we'll do maybe we'll do a whole coverage of it on stream then. Yeah, that'd be great. Okay, yeah. cool. Well, um, yeah, have a lovely night and um, always always fun talking. Okay, thank you so much, Vadim. It's always wonderful. Have a great night. Yeah, likewise. Bye bye. Bye.